there guys, it's Kim, your chic geek from yourchicgeek.com and I am coming to you with um, another active campaign video tutorial. Um, this is something that I totally forgot to add and do as I know that this is probably um, a question that a lot of you have um, if you're using the active campaign email automation service. So how do you disable the double opt-in feature. Yes, I know that the double opt-in feature is um, one of those things that um, you know people say that you, you want to make sure that you have enabled because of you know you want to make sure that people when they're opting in that they really want to be on your list and all of that kinds of stuff. But um, I kind of in the you know over the over the, the the past year or so of running my blog and really focusing more on list building and things like that. I kind of beg to differ on that one. I really want people, whenever they opt in, to be able to get it, get what it is that they're opting in for. I want them to not have any issues with, you know, getting onto my email list. I really just don't want to to cause any problems for them at all. Okay, I want things to be as seamless as possible. So what I do whenever I go into Active Campaign and I create forms. I disable the double opt-in feature, okay? And so that's what this video is about. So let me show you how to do this. First things first is I am logged into the back end of my active campaign, um, active campaign dashboard. So what you want to do is you want to go to forms, okay? So we're going to click on forms. And then I'm going to go to the form that I just created, which is called the test double opt-in form. And I'm going to click on this. Okay, and this is how you get her done. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're just going to go over here and click on options, and then underneath your form where it says form action, okay, um, next to where it says subscribe to list, you want to click on this little icon, this little gear icon over here to the right under opt in options. Okay, now this is where you have the um, under the edit form action, you have the options here for the opt-in confirmation. This is where you want to disable this, okay? If you don't want to use the double opt-in confirmation stuff, then this is where you would go to disable that feature, okay? So you're just going to click off, and then you're going to click save, okay? Then you just want to go to integrate, save and exit. And that is pretty much it. So again, what this means is just that, you know, whenever somebody opts in and they opt in using a specific form, then they're not going to have to worry about, you know, uh, agreeing or not agreeing, but they're not going to have to worry about getting that email that says, hey, are you sure you want to opt in? It's just you don't have they're not going to have to worry about all of that. So I just wanted to show you really, really quickly how to disable the double opt in feature in active campaign. I hope this video has been super helpful for you. So I will see you guys later. And don't forget, forget. Oh, I'm so tongue tied. <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I do plan to continue to roll out more tech tutorials and um, just other stuff um, that will help you along the way in your tech and digital marketing journey. All right. Cheers and thanks so much for watching.